What is a DEX and CEX key differences between crypto platforms? Hello, crypto enthusiasts. In this video, we'll break down what DEX and CEX are and explain the differences between them. If you want to understand how to choose between these two types of exchanges, this video is for you. We hope you enjoy this video. Be sure to like it, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell to stay updated. Let's start with CEX, Centralized Exchanges. CEX platforms operate with a centralized organization that manages your wallet and assets. Examples of these platforms include Binance, Bybit, BingyX, Coinbase, Kraken, OKX, Bitfinex, Huobi, etc. On these exchanges, your deposits and assets are stored in a wallet controlled by the exchange, not by you personally. This means that to trade and store your funds, you rely on the platform. When you buy or sell cryptocurrency, the exchange processes these transactions on your behalf. What is DEX? Now let's talk about DEX. Decentralized exchanges. These platforms operate differently. DEX are not controlled by a central entity. Everything happens directly between users and their funds always stay in their own wallets. Trading on DEX occurs via smart contracts and blockchain, making it completely decentralized. This means you don't have to trust a third party and your assets never leave your control. Popular examples of DEX platforms include Uniswap, SushiSwap, PancakeSwap, 1inch. Key differences between DEX and CEX. So, how do DEX and CEX differ? Let's break it down. Centralization, CEX platforms are centralized, while DEX platforms are decentralized. Asset control, on CEX, your assets are stored on the exchange. On DEX, they stay in your wallet. Security, CEXs can be vulnerable to hacks and attacks since they are centralized platforms. DEXs, due to their decentralized nature, are less prone to hacks, but they come with their own risks, such as smart contract bugs. Liquidity, CEXs generally have much higher liquidity as trading takes place through a centralized platform with many users. DEX may have lower liquidity, but are growing every day. Anonymity. CEXs require registration and verification, which can take time. DEX platforms provide greater anonymity as there is no need for registration or verification. Examples of CEX and DEX platforms. CEX, Binance, the largest cryptocurrency exchange with high liquidity. Coinbase, popular in the US, with a user-friendly interface for beginners. Kraken, known for its security and support for various currencies. Bitfinex, offers margin trading and derivatives. Huobi, a platform providing services internationally. DEX Uniswap, one of the most popular DEX on Ethereum. SushiSwap, similar to Uniswap with additional features. PancakeSwap, works on Binance Smart Chain with low fees. One inch, a liquidity aggregator that finds the best prices across DEX. DYDX, a decentralized exchange for derivatives trading. Advantages and disadvantages of CEX and DEX. Advantages of CEX, higher liquidity, user-friendly interface, easy access to crypto and fiat currencies, a wide variety of trading pairs and features. Disadvantages of CEX, your assets are controlled by the exchange. Potential risk of hacks requires registration and verification. Advantages of DEX, full control over assets, greater anonymity, decentralized approach. Disadvantages of DEX, lower liquidity, more complex for beginners, limited trading pairs. How to choose between DEX and CEX. So, how do you choose? It all depends on your goals. If you need to quickly exchange crypto for fiat or trade with high liquidity, CEX is the right option. However, if you care about asset control and anonymity, DEX is the better choice. Conclusion. We hope this video helped you understand the differences between CEX and DEX. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new videos. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. See you next time.